key arrest in the human trafficking case that shut down a Detroit motel. This man could help lead investigators to the ring leader, and that's because Shelby Avery is believed to have been one of the leaders of the Victory Inn prostitution ring. The alleged mastermind known as Tones remains at large, but this makes three arrests now since that raid back in January. Local force Coco McAvoy is live with what we know right now about Avery and the investigation. Coco, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly and Jason. We look through unsealed documents in federal court today. Those documents showing that Shelby Avery lived at the Victory Inn Hotel here. Informants telling investigators that Avery was one of the main drug dealers and that he gave those drugs to prostitutes. So as you can imagine, as we spoke to employees here at businesses in the area like the Sunoco gas station, they are very happy to know that he's been arrested. I'm just glad they, they got him off the streets. Ray works at the Sunoco gas station down the street from the Victory Inn, where investigators say Shelby Avery helped lead a criminal enterprise filled with prostitution, human and drug trafficking. Everybody knew about it, you know, it's just, it just took time for them to take action. That action came today when the Detroit Police Department and Homeland Security arrested Avery in Detroit. He's now among two others charged with a number of offenses, including sex trafficking, drug conspiracy and criminal enterprise. You know, I think that uh, Victory Inn uh, uh, is a well known name as far as being a safe haven for photo type of activities. Uh, many people have been saying that for a long time. We've been hearing it on the news for a long time that that's where you buy your drugs. With one of the major players in a ring that plagued the community finally captured, residents say they're relieved. Uh, for them to, to go in there and to do that and to clean those things up, I think is an outstanding start. It says a lot for the city of Detroit. And they hope more arrests soon follow. Those unsealed documents also showing that investigators have been looking into this case since September of last year. So obviously a big break in the case with Avery being arrested today, and they hope that it leads to more arrests that they can find the ringleader through him. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. What else do we know about Avery Coco? Has he been formally arraigned yet? So he was supposed to be arraigned today and I went and I talked to the clerk and she says that he didn't show up today because he's in the hospital and I asked if it's because he received some kind of injury during that arrest, but that information was not available. Okay, again, though, a major arrest and uh, Coco, we know you keep us posted. Thanks.